Hi there guys, welcome and um, if you get to see this, welcome to Nick and uh, hopefully you know, you're your friend, whoever you've got. So a couple of quick a couple of knives here to show. I'm going to try not to move around too much because I'm aware when I film here, which is where my leather stuff is, if I move too much it makes all the walls and stuff sway, I think it's with the focusing, so anyway I'll try and keep a bit still and not make anybody seasick. So. Um, basically, oh, just, I've just had these out, but uh, there we go. This is number one. Um, hopefully, this is showing up. I'll try and get the lights up a bit. Oh, that might help. Ah, a bit better. Not too bad. I might have to learn about all the lights and you know lighting and things. But anyway, here we have number one. Leatherwork coming on very nicely. Nice and consistent. Nice and even. Well, I'm. Uh, Changing a few things on here. I'm doing a bit of a template going at the moment, but this is as usual three and a half mil um, veg tanned. Um, obviously dyed, burnished, edge coated, stitched, Vaseline on the inside, neat's foot, Aussie leather conditioner, can Uber, you know, all the bits on the leather. Um, and here we have knife number one. So a bit more. Mainstreamy bushcrafty style, but with a little bit more belly on as well at the front to give it a bit more use, make it a bit more usable for sort of like hunting. These are um, stabilised uh, matai scales with black G10 liners, and as you can see on here, a bit of a more of your, it's like your stereotypical coke bottle style to give a nice grip. A few little takes of my own on it. Here we have uh, brass pins and lanyard tube. Number one and number two. I'll pop it in there. There we go. There we go. And this is the second one. Again, leather work exactly the same. Same three and a half mil, all hand done. Fingers crossed this actually uh, with the light up here and everything works out. Hope so, get you in the eyes. And again, part wet form, part friction fit. Um, same style again. This one's a very slightly thicker handle. I've made them both slightly different. One's a little bit thicker than the other. That's purely the only difference. It's just, just that the depth, um, or width, sorry, I should say. Just so you can have a bit of an argument between you and your mate or whoever, you know, gets which. This is um, red. G10 liners, so you've got that difference there, and the liners match the stitching, so don't get the sheets mixed up because obviously the slightly thicker handle, you'll be cramming it into the other one, just stretch it. So they've uh, fitted each. These have got a, is it loveless? Loveless bolts, I think. Is it lo yeah, loveless, not Corby. These are loveless bolts and brass pin. Again, stabilised. Um, I believe, yeah, is it Rimo? I think. Um, 26 degree bevels, but again, a bit more of a sweet, bit more. So it's rather than dedicated bushcraft, it will go anything in the field as well as a bit better for butchery work and things like that and hunting and fishing. So that's that one. But again, your coke bottle style, just a little bit, just a little bit chunkier. There we go. So, boom. With that. That's two knives. Hope you like them, Nick. Um, really, I'll get in touch with that shortly. Um, hope you liked looking at those guys. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Um, back on with my uh, rather busy Easter Sunday. Um, lots of little bits of jobs to do. All the filming to do. Some projects I've got going on. Um, which I'll put on another bit. So there, thank you for your time. Have a subscribe. Have a like. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, Bush Bimbler. Lots of other stuff goes on there. It's not just knives. It's all camping, the dogs. Um, bushcrafting, outdoor stuff, things things to make, cooking, yeah, all the usual type of plethora of things. Um, bushcrafting NZ, getting, uh, does nobody search for bushcrafting in uh, New Zealand? But come on guys, anybody who watches this, tell your mates, flick, I don't know, let's try and get something going. There's so little for, so little structured stuff for us over here. So with that, I will sign off. Hope you're having an awesome Easter weekend and I will catch all you guys later. And uh, like I say, thank you for watching, thank you for your time and... Uh, Keep well, guys, and get out there doing it.